Here's one more card trick. This is one of my favorite card tricks because it's one of the things if someone could do anything with a deck of cards, this is one of the things that they would like to be able to do. You start by shuffling the cards like this or any way that you know how to shuffle cards. We're going to get a volunteer for this one. Um, Ma'am, would you do me a favor? And uh, go ahead and take the cards. What I want you to do is deal them into two separate piles. That's perfect. And it doesn't have to be every other one. You can put as many as you want at a time here, as many as you want at a time here. That's fine. You can do it twice here, twice here. I just want this to be completely random. Okay? It's completely up to you how this turns out. Perfect. All right, now, th now we're going to do this. Uh, we could bring in more people at this point, but we're just going to use each other uh, instead. What I want you to do is pick up either pile that you want. <laughs> nice. Okay. Now what I want you to do is take those cards, and once again, this time, just every other one, deal here, deal here. Go ahead. Until you have the entire deck finished. And I'll do that with these. No, no, no just go every other, every other card. One, two, one, two. Perfect. Okay, and I'll do the rest of these. All right, now keep in mind the cards were shuffled, and then you dealt them down into two piles, completely random, and then we both took what, what was left over and dealt those into four piles. Here's the cool thing about how this works out, if we're lucky. The last card on my pile here is an ace. The last one on my other pile an ace. The last card on yours is an ace. And on this pile is an ace. You cut the cards to all four aces. Well done. Okay, this is called cutting to the four aces, and here's how that works. It's actually very easy. It looks pretty difficult, but it's simple. All you have to do is take the four aces and put them on top of the deck. And that's all the setup there is. Uh, you then shuffle the cards, but what you do is keep, if you shuffle like this, you keep the top four cards on top. So the aces just stay on top of the deck. You can do this as many times as you want. As long as you keep the top four cards on top of the deck. Then you pick someone from the audience, and you say, pick up the cards and deal them into two separate piles, and I'll gesture two separate piles. What that does is make them say, okay, two separate piles. Now what they've done is just deal the four aces. They don't realize that. Okay. Now once they're past the first four cards and you know the aces are down, then I say, well you don't have to go every other one. You can deal a few to this pile, a few to that pile. I want this to be completely random. I say that. It's not true. We don't want it to be random. We want the aces to be the bottom four cards. That's very important. But once those are down, it doesn't matter how they deal the cards. So it doesn't matter. They can do a couple here, and a couple here, and a couple here. Now remember, the four aces are the last two cards on the bottom. Now you can pick two different people if you want to. You say, choose which pile you want. Once again, I want this to be completely random. So somebody will take this packet, and you say, this time, I want you to deal the deck every other card until you're out of cards. It's important to say that now, because now if they start to do chunks, it might screw it up at the end. So here you go. Every other card. Well, what's going to happen, since the aces are the last two cards down here? Here we go. Every other card. The last two cards. Now watch this. Here's the last two. Ace and ace. It's the same with this packet. If you deal all these down, every other one, the last two cards that they get to, this is speed dealing, the last two cards are ace and ace. But people won't remember. They think they had a free choice. Uh, as, long as, you, as long as you say at the beginning, deal down like this. And as soon as those four are down, you say, oh, it doesn't have to be other, every other one. As long as you say, it doesn't have to be every other one. I want this to be completely as random as possible. And they'll believe you. Introducing comedic illusionist Chad Chesmark. Bringing powerful presentations to companies like yours across the globe.
Let's go.